All right, guys, what's up? Today's video is about software and proprietary software. I know that's a really a shocking, a different topic for my channel. Uh, we're really treading into new territory over here. But this is kind of a follow up to my video about the Fediverse. You don't have to watch that to understand this, but long story short, I'm not a big fan of the Fediverse. I don't think it'll catch on. And even if it does catch on, even if you know all that works out, you know, hey guys, I'm posting a message on Pleroma. Oh, my girlfriend hits me up on Mastodon. Like these statements dreamed up by the utterly deranged. Even if that all becomes real, it's still gonna be terrible, just like Twitter is, just like Facebook is, because social media in and of itself is a bad structure. It's a bad thing. It doesn't work well. Microblogging sites, retweeting this stuff. Oh, that's great, all fun, until you realize it's making the whole population stupid, or at least a lot of people on the site stupid, or at least the vocal majority or minority. I don't really know, but you get the idea. Anybody who doesn't use Twitter can, kind of looks at it from the outside and is like, wow, that is really, really nasty. Same thing for Reddit, same thing for 4chan. These kind of websites, they're structured in a way that just makes you stupid. And that's why I don't think making it open source or making it decentralized and federated, all democratic, that doesn't fix it. Adding democracy and stuff like that to a system that just makes you stupid is still gonna make you stupid because the website is still the same. And that logic, that logic of it's the same thing, just slightly different, also applies to software when you're switching to Linux. That's how I'm gonna frame this video. It's as if you're about to switch to Linux, you're, you're installing Arch, you're installing, you know, Gen 2, something like that, and you're in this situation where you're like, okay, I'm nostalgic for the prison, Windows, Mac OS, whatever, that I was in before. So I'm gonna, here's an analogy, I'm gonna install prison bars on my Windows and stuff like that to make me feel more like home. And that's a bit of an extreme analogy, but you sort of get what I'm getting at, right? A lot of people switch to Linux and they still want to use lots of proprietary software. It's like you've just installed Arch Linux and then you're like, oh, how do I install Discord? Like, what? The whole point of you switching to an operating system like Linux is so you can start using software that you were probably already using on Windows, let's be honest, that respects your freedom in an environment that also respects your freedom. That's like, you know, getting a new house and, you know, installing prison bars on all the windows because you just love being in jail so much. And that's the exact kind of attitude which is, you know, gets bombarded on all forums and stuff like that. How do I get this to work? How do I get this game to work? How do I get my Steam stuff to work? How do I get, you know, and they're having so much trouble and their system breaks because they're not doing it right. Because at, at its core, you're not really meant to be doing that kind of stuff with Linux. You're not meant to be recreating a Windows experience. You're not, like, it, this isn't really the spirit of it. And that's what I really want to get at with this video. If you're the kind of person who installs, you know, Linux and then gets straight to installing the Spotify web app or something like that, maybe you should have stayed on Windows. Maybe you, you shouldn't really have made the switch unless you're planning to quit that. Like, when I switched to Linux, I had this really weird kind of thing in my mind where I was like, in the back of my head, it was saying, you know, I'm doing this at the moment, but this is only temporary. Not my switching to Linux, but using programs like, uh, you know, Steam and in big web apps and things like that. I'm eventually going to be able to switch away from this and use a better system. That was always in the back of my head. It wasn't always something that I was doing. But in the back of my head, I was thinking, you know, Discord, not very good. I really should be using something more federated, more, uh, you know, open source, better that kind of stuff. I didn't really understand what it meant at the time, but as you learn more, you can fill in those gaps that are missing from your understanding of computers and stuff like that. If you are predisposed to think, okay, I know this thing is bad for me, then you're opening yourself up to learning so much more about things that are good for you. Software that respects your freedom. That's just one small example. This kind of logic can be applied to so many other things, but this is the kind of thing which really irks me because the people who most get this mentality are tech midwits, which is another video I've made a topic on. Um, sorry, it's another topic I've made a video on. But you get the, you get the kind of personality, the people who are like, okay, I want to be free but not if it means actually sacrificing my habits and stuff like that. So yeah, I didn't really want to make this a long video. I just want to say at the end of the day, if you have habits that you know are bad, then at least just recognize the fact that they're bad. Recognize that, you know, maybe having a bunch of bloated web apps on my computer is bad. Maybe having a bunch of bloated, you know, Windows emulators, stuff like that so I can play games. Maybe that's not preferable. Maybe that's not exactly what I want to be doing with my time. And I know that sounds kind of very blunt, kind of very direct or even, uh, you know, judgy for me. I'm sorry if it comes off that way. But you get what I'm getting at. Linux isn't about having less freedom. It's not about having an environment that's free and you being able to lock yourself up in it. It's about having everything. 
be free and having everything reflect a better computing experience, a healthier computing experience especially. So at the end of the day, that's the most important thing about Linux. I've been Denshi, that was my video, and uh, yeah, the Fediverse still isn't gonna work. <laughs> Goodbye.